Alright guys, thank you all for tuning in today. I think it's the fourth or fifth episode. <laughs> I can't remember my other track up on that. It's been a while. Thank you guys for tuning in to this episode of City Skylines Industries. As you can see I did a bit of work off camera. I'm just in some stuff with the traffic. I had some schools, I had some bus connections, which I did do the last um the last episode I was I started the bus terminus and I finished it off camera. The last episode was a bit longer than usual, so that's why I kind of finished it off camera. Anyway, guys, let's get into it. Took me a while to actually get the capture, so for to actually capture because for some reason every time I try to capture the game mode somehow crash. I don't know what's the issue with the game, but that's odd. Yeah, that's kind of odd that the game actually crashes at the idea. Let's get into game. As usual, I will start in this corner. As you can see, I got, got some more land, that's the terminus there. And we are sitting on 1,245,600 and 671 dollars with an income of 3,000 weekly. I didn't know if I can make this a tourism district. I do have a mod on as you can see here. That's the mod I just... I know that. That's the mod I just. I got that mod to deal with the kind of slopes. It is abandoned buildings up there. This is the tourism district. I have transport and a bit of connections running through the middle there. As you can see, the dam here is looking very nice at this point. I did change the connection here so that the um, city, the buses will not pass directly through the oil industries or the industrial, industrial district. And that did in fact solve some of the traffic issue. Now I have a kind of a drop in population. Let me just show you guys what I did off camera here. I added this huge district here that is currently out of cellars. I did a bit of editing with these slopes with the new mod that I'm using. I'll put the link in the description for that mod. And I actually got what milestone I got while I was offline. I got the Grand City milestone <laughs> while I was um, doing some editing offline. So now what we have to do here, we have a bit of a kind of a simple, not really an issue, but we have a simple thing we need to see about. We can. Um, we need to expand or slightly expand our residential district and also get some industrial districts or slash offices. Think I'm thinking which one I would actually use. Probably industrial. Forestry. I'd put a forestry district right about here. As it doesn't really take it doesn't really cause pollution so it can be surrounding the 
little two-way highway I have here. So for now, I'm going to see about that. We'll be using industrial roads obviously for this. I'm going to do an industrial one way. About so like out and in. So what I'm kind of have an idea here what I'm going to do is have this here run <coughs> down. Then the next one go up. And have a die going like that. So go down. Next one go up. That's basically how we have that district laid out. Let's make that an official district. Industrial district. Let's feel free to support me on Patreon. I am absolutely going to add you guys your names to my city eventually the page link would be down in the description this would be a industrial forestry district also i'll be might as well put a forestry stuff up here why not close to the forestry district and we are in fact sitting on one million dollars still I haven't really bought anything that much forestry there you go we have a forestry district um Yes, yeah, so let me just play some more roads before I get into this. Yes, I know you don't have power or water. For these. Probably going to go two instead of one away. Usually it's this node. It's actually a bit further than expected. So these have two squares in between extra space to build. So some of these things here are huge. And I can connect this one down the middle there. <coughs> these would most likely go slope too steep there and there and there and there and this one it's kind of small so I'd put it oh it can actually fit right there it's cool that that can fit there we would have to run power out here yeah? kind of a secluded area from the rest of the city there's power and then we'll have to take care of water we just actually put out the water layout first sewage and water treatment I 
Alright, so it's all we can now adjust soon this area here. Industrial. Just on that side. Makes no sense having it down there. <coughs> Speed up time a bit here. <coughs> so the industrial demand is now down. Yes, we did in fact change that to these. I think we need to actually deal with that a bit later on. See if we can expand the residential now. The residential is going to continue on top of this hill. I think I'm going to give them back the same roads that they had before. Some commercial will be removed. Very high stick there. So it would be a kind of a weird road system up here. Probably going to be some high density up there. It's probably going to be some high density. I know I'm getting kind of creative with the zones now. Yeah. The landscaping is a bit slightly weird that I can't really have it in the usual grid style. Very creative zone in here. creative zones here. So now let's just run some water one. As you can see I did remove the tool boots. It was kind of slow in our traffic. Continue with these lines here and then fill up the rest of space. Sorry for the noise in the background. You know, guys, it's the new year. Kids are still home from school. Usually they would be home from school around this time. So yeah. 
I just put that there. <laughs> I was reason to put that there, but yeah. As we're in the water section, let's kind of do some water connections here. Yeah, running on water. These guys would obviously need power, so let's just see if I can get this to look more realistic. It's gonna just have a line on and shred down. Dam is actually working perfect. We are in fact running out of power. Because our city is so huge, even though we still have 15,000 population. There's a lot of houses and industrial in our district. Let's just get some zoning in here. High density actually. Just on these roads here. This here would probably be, be commercial. The outer here would probably be commercial too. I'd probably use like the outer road as commercial. And no, that's a weird piece of zone in there though. Weird zone in glitch. How the hell are they accessing the road? Could have done this by very fast. I don't know how I'm doing it now, but yeah, just wanted to do it a bit more controlled over where they build their houses and stuff. So just here on this side. Yeah, 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 and there, there's some low density on the outer, church, commercial, and on the, yes I know you guys don't have power, give me a sec please. Alright, have some low density there. And then we can have some high density on like these roads here. And then like these down here should be offices. Just kind of diversify the actually got that wood right there for once. It's zoning in this funny area. Right, so we have some kind of weird zoning around here. We would need some. Okay, as expected. We can, in fact, let's see if we can put a husk hospital right there. And a uh, healthcare center. And I just want to build those one down there. Crematoriums can go. 
Okay, so I'm out a bit just to get the connection. I think we do have one of these. Alright. Now some fire services. I might do the same as I did with the hospital. Have fire station up there and uh, can put this small fire station right next down there I probably can put one there and kind of the same thing for the police station If we can get one, yeah. Alright, our commercial is in fact growing with our residential. We are back on the top, gaining more people in our city. Put a bit of weird zoning. Put a bit of weird zoning here. Let's see how this zones look, by the way. Oh, as I did that there, I just remembered my park here the guy if you're watching the video well you will be watching the video there's your park i actually named it after you after the previous episode i did in fact name it after you but yeah there's the park there it's currently a three star park almost four stars just need a bit more entertainment but i'm kind of out of space to put anything else so it's a three star park <laughs> Yes, I know we have some abandoned buildings. We have a slide that we've done here. See what we can do for that. There's a cemetery right there. And put a crematorium right there. Still having a bit of dead waves in our city. a sudden idea but the slope here would make it kind of weird to have a park on this <laughs> road here have a park in between here that would be kind of weird right guys as you can see the city is growing a bit a bit of traffic here most of it looks like yeah most of it is actually industrial traffic for some reason using this as a route in well it's the closest way to get off the highway but then they would have to go all the way through here up the slope go all the way down Oh, we have a bit of traffic here. Well, that's the income for the new residential area down here. I have an idea to kind of ease up that traffic. 
add another connection. Off of here, go down. That is a again and something like that <laughs> that's a really awkward connection there a really really awkward connection actually working interesting it's actually working I expected it to work but not in as smooth as it is because of this junction well, there goes the traffic just as I said that there goes the traffic but it's not as serious as usual it's not really backing up that much and the curve here is very tight and here too is also Good, but they are actually using it to get back on the highway and off the highway. And my... What's that here? That's a... I forgot what kind of district. That's residential also. Residential districts are booming. Like literally, they are booming. I... I just remembered something. I have no schools in this area. Get an elementary school there. One of you guys will have to move out. Two actually. Get an elementary school down there. Get one right in there. Sorry for bulldozing you guys' houses. Mm, that kind of covers the whole area. We can get a high school right. This guy just decided to build right where I was going to put it, but get a high school right there. A bit low on high school right now, so can get another one. Let's see if I can get two houses alone. Right there. We are good on university. We would in fact need to create a bus connection down here. Or do I have As you can see the bus lines there guys. I actually have this unlocked. So all the buses actually used most of them use this road, main road. There's one line going out to this district. We are in fact getting a lot of income from bus transport. There is residents using the bus per week. 962 residents per week and tourists 36 per week 
also have a few taxis that are operational. What I'm thinking, we can have. We can have like a. Metro. Going all the way across here. Since we are already full with our bus terminus. But the unfortunate thing is that we'll have to. We can have two set of metros, one for... It's an idea, we can add the metros to the transport hub. Leave me a sec here guys. Sorry about that guys, you just got a bit of noise there. Rain started to fall. Always does when I'm recording. For some reason, or the other it always does. So we officially have a metro hub with our transport hub. We have a train connection there. We have a stadium here actually. Let's see, I'm not sure how we'll be doing this, but areas like here would have one. Here would have about two, because it's so huge. This would I think about giving here, because here already has bus connections. So we put one here. Like further down the road, and have one a bit further down the road. One I have that one. Line up with that. I'm not really lying up with it, but I don't want to have it too close, and then it would. Probably come like I'm trying to get one house there. Probably like here. And you can come back up and connect. There's one here already. Connect on this side instead. a loop around that's gonna be a weird turn there connect back up to here and here and this will be final stop and back let's see how this will look out so they have one so if it was it would oh my god so too steep I'm so far away oh See if we can get this slope to actually get this to P. Lord, that was a uh, somewhat a weird connection there. Put it to this one here. As it's already here, we can connect that up to the top one. Let's see, now we're kind of over the time limit, but I'd finish this restrict transport, and and we are a capital city, just as I said that we are a capital city, guys. Hooray! We just got capital city. We unlock the cargo hub. Cargo Harbor, sorry, wrong one I'm thinking of. There is a Cargo hub, so I'm still referring to the game. This is like a kind of a weird loop there, but what uh, I have to do? 
Doesn't really matter, you can still run. I'm trying to do it as simple as possible. Ah, yes, and that's what I was looking to see when that would happen. I know he was actually low on power. There it is. Just quickly deal with the power issue we are having. We can, in fact, oh, we haven't unlocked that yet. 38, we are on 28. Um, let's go for some green power. And probably place it like around here. And another one there, and another one there. Should deal with the power any time now. Oh yes, the game is paused. Yep, I will probably show yourself. Simple as that. Now let's get back to this. Just try to end this episode as with some achievements. And let's place the line and see what runs. It's a far distance to be traveling just to switch, but it's actually kind of cool that you have to travel to a specific area to switch bus or, as we say, metro. I only have one metro system right now running. And it's also the train system for the city. So let's see how that line works. So metro. Train is actually I don't know for a lot of people that's most of the time as you can see there's a lot of people using the walkover system to get around. Some of them are crossing still some awkward places. Metro is actually being used. 28 passengers already. A bit of traffic going into the bus area, but mostly buses are going in. And the influx when they want to come out is actually. Not that much backing up, but it's still working. Let's switch to the transport overlay view. As soon as I can find it, there it is. Ew, we are in fact getting an issue with the lumber coming out onto this highway. Hmm. I can't really do nothing for that right now, but I will see about that as you next episode. We have a fire there. See how metro system is working up here. So a few people using the metro system. lot of upgrade <laughs> within this area since I placed the metro. Still having a bit of issue for garbage in this area. Oh, a lot of people using the metro service.
guys so thank you all for tuning in to this episode of city skyline so as you can see our stadium there as you saw the little bit of work off camera and stuff with the what you call that the tourism district a small little tourism district with the just within the transport hub of the city it's a small transport hub what we did as this episode we added some some metro system we are kind of still having a bit of an issue with the traffic as we just created a whole new district and a whole new connection and stuff and a whole new residential district so it's kind of for now would be training on the traffic but thank you all for your support on all my channels my twitch channel which would be in the description my youtube channel and everything else see you guys probably in the next one which would be next week thank you guys again for all the support ash balls out all my links from my discord and stuff would be in the description below Ashworths out in 3, 2, 1.